pretty much every day a new piece of equipment arrives in the studio, but this thing right here has actually got me incredibly excited. It's not a gun, this is a brand new 3-axis stabilizer for that Sony a7R2. So I think we should open it up and take a look inside. Now as you may or may not know, I've owned a handful of gimbals in my time, one of which met an untimely end when it came face to face with a horse. Needless to say, none of them have come in a case quite as nice as this one. Taking a look inside, we have everything that you need. Obviously, the gimbal itself sits loud and proud in the center, surrounded by things like batteries, instruction manuals, and cables so that you can actually charge the gimbal or alternatively plug it into your computer. Now, the Zion Crane boasts 12 hours of battery life, and the batteries come pre-charged, so all you have to do is put them straight in using the base section, balance up your camera, and then you're good to go. So I guess first impressions are this thing seems pretty great. I mean, I'm using it right now. I'm kind of waving my hand around like a madman and the camera doesn't seem to be moving at all, which is exactly what you want a three axis gimbal to do. But it's all well and good, me shooting some video just in my kitchen. I feel like the only way that we can know if this thing actually functions is if we take it out and do a real test. So I packed up all of my camera equipment, piled it all into the camper van and traveled off to a location that I have driven past for the last two years without ever setting foot inside. From the outside, it looks like a really beautiful lake surrounded by plenty of forest, and I thought this was the perfect location to test out the Zion Crane. First things first, the gimbal itself feels incredibly sturdy in the hands, and thanks to the long arm design, it's perfect for two-handed use. Now if you are going to be using it for long periods of time, I would highly suggest getting the double handle kit, because after two hours of shooting, it did begin to feel a little bit heavy, and my arms were definitely beginning to get just a tiny bit tired. Now I think it goes without saying that the footage from this thing is incredibly smooth. I'm a pretty heavy walker myself, and I think it's safe to say that I don't necessarily glide through the air while I'm walking, but this does a brilliant job of cancelling out any of the shake or any of the wobble that comes from me walking. Some of these shots are so smooth that it actually looks like they've been shot on some form of drone, which I would say is very impressive. But gimbals aren't only useful for walking moving shots. If you want to do pans with this thing, then it's entirely doable. All you have to do is twist your wrists and the gimbal head will follow round and you get yourself a pretty consistent looking pan. In fact, I would say that it's comparable to that shots from a video tripod. All in all, I'm incredibly impressed with the Zion Crane. Not only is it incredibly easy to set up, thanks to the measurements on all of the plates in the gimbal, but it's a pleasure to use. And so far, I've not had any frustrations whatsoever. So I would definitely recommend getting one of these if you're interested in picking up a three axis gimbal and it'll be coming with me to all shoots in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.